Hello, I'm Linda Judice, Chair of the Committee on Climate Change and Toxic Environmental Exposures. I'm Dr. Jean Connery, President of the International Federation of Gynecology and Obstetrics. I am Santosh Pandapati, a maternal fetal medicine physician from Los Gatos, California. My name is Tracy Woodruff, and I'm the Director on the Program on Reproductive Health and the Environment and the Earth Center at the University of California, San Francisco. At FIGO, we have issued a call to action. The climate crisis has serious and adverse impacts on women's health. The climate crisis disproportionately affects the health of women, children, and vulnerable populations, including pregnant women, communities of color, and low-income communities, and low-income countries. And we speak with the United Voice. Climate change impacts pregnancy outcomes by increasing premature births, low birth weight infants, and increased susceptibility to vector-borne illnesses. Climate change is also linked to toxic chemical pollution, these chemicals are universally found in pregnant women and can increase the risk of adverse health effects, including adverse fertility problems, adverse pregnancy outcomes, adverse effects on neurodevelopment, and effects on metabolic disorders like diabetes. But as OBGYNs, we don't have to stand by and watch our patients become victims. Rather, we can empower them into becoming effective agents for climate change mitigation and adaptation. As OBGYNs, we must step forward with strong voice for leadership. We are uniquely positioned to advocate for strategies and policies that mitigate the climate crisis, that decrease the dependence on fossil fuels, and focus instead on the health of population. By ensuring universal access to contraception and filling unmet contraceptive demand, advocating for 12 years of universal education of girls and young women, encouraging healthier diets and lifestyles, for education of the public, healthcare professionals, scientists, and government leaders about the realities and consequences of climate change. We need societal solutions, governmental policies, and global cooperation to address and reduce contributors to climate change.